Buying a new house is always an exciting moment. It doesn't matter if you're buying your first or your 10th house, it's just as thrilling to pick and choose. This firefighter couldn't wait to move into his new home, and he ended up finding a huge surprise in his backyard. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. American citizen John Smith was oblivious when he bought his new house, but this purchase ended up being the most astonishing moment of his life thanks to some neighborhood rumors. The previous owner had mentioned tales about something that might have been buried in the backyard. John couldn't ignore these rumors, he was too curious, so he decided to spring into action. He was prepared to do anything it takes to get to the bottom of this. He took a shovel, went to his backyard, and started digging. He quickly realized he would need something bigger than a shovel. He had no idea what to look for, but he ended up purchasing more powerful tools. He didn't have a particular plan about where to dig and exactly how, so he ended up digging small pits. After digging four of these, he just ended up with a ruined lawn. He was starting to worry that the thing he was looking for might have already been destroyed by his careless search. Exasperated, he stopped digging. John had a new plan to search for this hidden treasure. He went to town hall to get every possible information about his house. Most of these documents were the same John already knew about, but thanks to a small sketchy drawing of one of the layouts, John found new information. According to the documents, in 1961, a company that built pools back then asked for a building permit, but there was no pool in the backyard at all. Why did the company need this clearance at all? John grabbed his shovel again and started digging, but this time he knew exactly where he needed to do that. It didn't take long for him to hit something hard with the plate. He was so close to finding out what this mystery was about. He was quick to realize that what he found couldn't be a simple well or a pipe, but he ended up having more questions about his discovery instead of less. The concrete shape that he found looked like an entrance that leads somewhere, but where does it go exactly? We bet you can't imagine how excited he must have been, finally putting an end to this enigma. Sadly after this, he had to wait for a little until experts have checked the site. He had no idea what he could find down there. It could have the risk of collapse or something dangerous could lurk below, but John was too curious to wait. The moment of truth came. John descended and he found something you won't believe. When John went down, he didn't see anything in the dark, but when his eyes adapted to the dim lighting, he made out what the metal shapes were. A staircase. What kind of risk was he taking by going down there? It wasn't a reliable structure anymore, having been built 50 years ago, so he invited some friends over to help him make the situation a bit safer. John admitted to himself that staying safe is more important than satisfying his curiosity. They developed a strategy together. They used more concrete and metal reinforcements around the entrance to make the area around the staircase safer and prevent the tunnel's collapse. Sadly, they couldn't save the spiral staircase, so they put a ladder in its place. John climbed down the ladder and finally reaped the fruits of his labor. Upon discovering the drawings, John understood that he needed to be much more careful with his search. He hired professionals to help him who brought the appropriate tools for the job. Thanks to the metal detectors, they finally made a discovery that would bring them closer to finding out what the treasure was exactly. John was ecstatic when the detectors started to beep in two separate places. He marked the two spots separately and he retired to rest for a bit and to plan for his next course of action. He was surprised to discover a huge room under his backyard. But that's not all. He found a whole network of tunnels. It soon became evident that he found an underground nuclear bunker. During the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union, many people became paranoid and commissioned such bunkers to be made under their homes. So the pool construction company saw this as an opportunity and added the bunker to their product range. They already understood the basic technique needed to construct them, after all. But what did John do to the bunker? The next step was the restoration. Since he needed additional money to accomplish this, he turned to GoFundMe. He posted a request explaining his situation and stating that he needed financial help to restore an old bunker that he found in his backyard. The entrance of the bunker was the trickiest part. He estimated that he would need around $2,000. He had a message for everyone who helped him with a donation after he finished the entrance. He said that it's safe to enter and the staircase is finally ready. 